Hey, what's happening guys? How are you doing? This is Rob of Rule of Two Review. Welcome back to the channel. And today, let's talk about that Nindy Showcase. So earlier this morning was Nintendo's Nindy Showcase for summer 2018. The showcase, or Nintendo Direct, that they actually told us about last week. As I had discussed, it was pretty interesting that they gave us five days notice that a Nintendo Direct was going to happen. And that beyond just a Nintendo Direct, specifically a Nindy's Showcase or a Nindy's Direct, which they have been doing more recently, they did one last year as well, that that was the Direct that they were going to show. Typically, they don't give us much notice at all. Either they, either they just drop it out of nowhere, or they tell us a day or two ahead of time, max. However, for whatever reason, with these Nindy's that they wanted to show off today, they wanted to let us know a good couple of days beforehand. Now, also as I discussed recently, this Nindy's Direct kind of falls in a weird, sort of precarious place when it comes to Nintendo and the Switch and the Directs that they typically do. You know, coming off of E3 where it was primarily focused on Smash and most people did not feel very satisfied with what Nintendo showed at E3. And then of course, a couple of weeks ago, they gave us a Smash Brothers focused Direct again which I and most people thought was actually spectacular. I freaking loved that Direct. I did have to catch it a day later, but by the time I actually watched it and caught up with everything they did, I thought it was wonderful. It was great. I mean, but it was more Smash, whereas we already had half an hour of Smash at E3. So a lot of questions about what is Nintendo giving us beyond Smash Brothers started to come. A lot of people were having questions, some people pretty frustrated, and I do understand why. And everyone started to wonder, well, are they going to show us anything else before the year is over? And of course, I theorized that, yeah, Nintendo is going to give us another Direct and more information and more reveals of new games before 2018 is over. And lo and behold, we did get that Direct announcement, but it was this Nindy Showcase that did happen this morning. And in a lot of ways, I think it's not what a lot of people wanted or expected. A reminder, most of you guys know me, so you're already familiar with this, but I myself... I'm not a big indies guy, they don't get me excited, there's very few indies that I play. Usually when I play them, I love them, so I have nothing against them, but I'm not like actively excited for or looking for new indies to play, usually. And so I also was not necessarily dying for this Direct and looking for it to be this major smash home run. And uh, so the Direct happened and uh, I was able to actually watch it this morning. It happened at 9 o'clock my time here on the uh, Pacific Coast of the States. And it's interesting because it actually, 9 o'clock, I'm usually like dead in the middle of my commute. I have a horrific, almost hour-long commute into downtown Portland every day. And around 9 o'clock, I'm usually kind of in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. And I knew that was going to be the case today. And so, weirdly, I was able to watch it while I was in traffic, driving on the highway uh, to work this morning. I just kind of had my phone sitting on my dash, playing through the speakers of my car and kind of watched it that way, which I would normally tell you not to do, but also, like I said, I was going like five miles an hour for most of it, which is just terrible, but it made it easy for me to kind of follow what was going on. And uh, so I kind of want to talk now a little bit more about the Direct, what it achieved, what was shown, if it was the right thing to do, if it did what it was supposed to do. Some people are definitely very unhappy about today's Nintendo Direct, and that's kind of what I wanted to discuss. So here's the thing, guys. Just my personal hot take here. Was the Direct good? Yeah, it was fine. It was a totally fine Direct. It was a Nindy's Direct. And I thought it was just okay. I had nothing against it. Did it excite me? Did I love it? Did it give me a lot of games to get really excited about? Absolutely not. I really didn't take much of anything away from this, except for one game, The Messenger, which you guys know I'm super pumped for, but that comes out in like two days anyway. Other than that, there really wasn't much for me. I'm not excited about it. However, did this achieve what it was supposed to achieve? And I think the answer is unequivocally yes. That's what this Direct was for. Here's just a couple of new indie games and new indie trailers. Most of us know that a couple of days before this Direct was announced, Nintendo also had a surprise Direct for indies, kind of specifically focused for the UK. And that was a pretty simple, straightforward Direct. Kind of gave people an idea of what to maybe expect for this Nindies Direct. And I feel like what happened is a lot of people maybe got their hopes up a little too high. Uh, I tried to make sure not to do that because, again, I kind of know that indies don't typically get me excited. There was a couple of things I was expecting that I am very shocked and disappointed did not show up, and I'll get to those in a minute. 
But overall, I was able to kind of keep my expectations in check because I'm just not an Indies kind of fan, really. But I think that uh, far too many people also had their expectations too high. And through that, and through seeing what this Direct did, a lot of people are pretty upset. Some are, like, actually angry about it. A lot of people also liked it, though, too. So really, with most things, people are kind of on all sides of the fence here. Uh, you know, the Direct was nothing more than 15 minutes of, like, I don't know, 12 or 15 game trailers for indie games. I believe most of them, if not all of them, were new, with uh, two exceptions. They actually confirmed uh, Bastion and Transistor are two games that are actually coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now, I will say that those games I find a little bit interesting, mostly because I've actually always wanted to play those games. I know that they're great. They've had great reviews for years and years. And I do think it's neat that they're coming to the Switch. I've always meant to play them, so maybe now it'll be a good time for me to pick them up just because they're getting a brand new release in 2018 or 19 or whenever. And, uh, and for the Switch, so that I can play them portably. I think that that's pretty cool. But those are also years old games, and sometimes that's fine and great, obviously. I mean, I'm the guy who picked up Skyrim for the second time on the Switch, so it's not like that's inherently a bad thing, but I do think it makes those games a little bit less exciting because they're not new games from the same studio. They're the same two games they made years ago that everyone loves. You know, um, they also showed this Goose Game, by the way. I do want to talk about this Goose Game. It's called Untitled Goose Game. I don't know if that's meant to be the final title of the game and they're just kind of having a laugh, or if they legitimately haven't named the game yet. It's this weird, dumb goose simulator where you're just a goose in the park pissing off humans. And I don't know why, because... It just looks good for some really dumb reason. Like, I don't even know if I'll ever actually play it or buy it, but I appreciate the angle that they're taking and the humor of it, especially because geese are the freaking worst animals on the planet. So the irony of them deciding to actually make that concept a video game, I have to appreciate. I commend the developers for doing something so stupid. And hey, in a world where Goat Simulator was like one of the biggest games ever a couple of years ago when it released, why not make a Goose Simulator? Makes sense to me. Anyway, the point is, the Goose game, Bastion and Transistor, and then of course The Messenger. Those are games that I'm really excited about, and that's pretty much it. Those are the only things that I took away from this. Everything else was your typical kind of indie fare. I don't really know what else people expected, man. I mean, I guess people wanted Nintendo to surprise show Metroid Prime 4, or actually show previews of the new Pokemon game for next year, or whatever, announce Animal Crossing. I think some people maybe wanted a little bit too much. Everything else was just normal indie games. Again, stuff that doesn't speak to me. Weird, quirky, minigame-focused kind of things. There is that game Towerfall that they, sh that they showed is coming to the Switch, and I've actually played that with friends on his PS4, and that's a pretty fun game. I actually would recommend you that, that people check that game out. Um, but still, everything else was just weird, little, quirky kind of pretentious little games, like little weird little story indie games, and the kind of things that I know are sometimes very good and people love, and I think that that's great, but they don't speak to me. And I think that people didn't understand what a Nindies Direct was going to be. And I think that that's a shame because I think it's a little bit unfair to Nintendo and unfair to this Direct and what it was trying to achieve that people might be looking so down on it. For me, as somebody who doesn't even care about most of these games and didn't even like the Direct, I also didn't dislike the Direct. I thought it was just fine. It did what it was supposed to do, and that's all it needed to do. Now, of course, the question becomes, again, for like the third time in the last few months, is Nintendo going to still give us more in 2018? And you know, I still mostly want to say yes. I'm guessing here. My guess is that, yeah, they probably will still give us another Nintendo Direct focused on real games soon. As I said in my recent video about this topic, I think the reason they would do that is because in the next couple of months, if they gave us a more traditional Direct about Nintendo Switch mainline games and not indie games, I think that what they would be doing is not trying to showcase surprise games to still release before 2018 is over, but they would be doing it to pump games for the first half of 2019. We're getting to that really, you know, kind of kind of gray area period of the year where now previews and trailers and reveals are more for next year than they are for this year. And Nintendo, who usually likes to show trailers for games that are coming up very soon, they could still accomplish the same goal and show trailers in October that are still going to be releasing for games that are still going to be releasing in like March or April next year. And so I overall think that, yeah, we're still going to get that from Nintendo. 
But also seeing this direct, seeing how low-key it was, it was a very soft land kind of thing, they really weren't uh, trying to achieve big news and big hype with this. It was almost just like an FYI kind of thing, like, hey, here's some trailers of some indie games coming out soon. Maybe that means that they are really taking their foot off the gas for 2018 even more than I thought. There is a chance that maybe I'm wrong in my guess, and they actually aren't going to give us another Direct before the end of the year. I mean, it's something to consider. I am still going to err on the side of optimism and say, yeah, there's probably more of a chance they will give us something before the year is over than that they won't. But I think we all need to be very smart and protect our emotions and prepare ourselves for a situation where maybe that doesn't happen and Nintendo doesn't have anything else to show before the year is over and maybe this is how it ended with this weird awkward not super exciting indies direct so those are my thoughts a non-indies fan on the indies focused nintendo direct from earlier today overall it was fine it did its job nintendo wasn't trying to make a big e3 kind of spectacle out of this it was just a small 15 minute indie showcase it showed a bunch of trailers for games that i'm sure many people are going to love I got one or two interesting games out of it as well for myself, and so that's fine. That's what I think. That's my opinion. What did you guys think? Were you a fan of what they showed? Did you enjoy the Direct? Did you not? Are you angry about it? Are you just sort of middle of the road about it and don't really care either way? However you feel, I want to hear you talk about it. All opinions, of course, are welcome here. And that is it. Thanks, as always, for tuning in, guys. This is Rob of Rule of Two Review, and I'll catch you next time on another video.